Sudoku again today. I found this one also in the archive on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server and it jumped out at me. I was just sort of scrolling through looking for puzzles and you know I'm a sucker for a puzzle with a cool theme and this one has uh, a theme that I thought was interesting. So there you go. There's the image that accompanies the puzzle and it's called Tiny Boats and you can see there's a bunch of tiny boats made out of arrows and floating in the ocean. I just thought that was really cool. So caught my eye. I'm going to try it. If you're seeing this video, then obviously I must have thought it was a decent puzzle um, or I wouldn't have posted the video. So there you go. So today we are looking at Tiny Boats and this is by Fryer. I know I've solved puzzles by Fryer before because the name sounds familiar, but I can't remember if I solved them on the channel or just, you know, off the channel on my own. But either way, this is by Fryer. Uh, I've, I've done some puzzles by Fryer before, so I'm hoping this one will be cool. It, it looks really interesting. The rules are pretty simple. Normal Sudoku rules and normal arrow rules. The only real difference is that we have two cell arrows in some of these spots, or two cell, uh, the circles on the bulbs, or bulbs, I guess they're not circles anymore. But they're just a two digit number read left to right. So if you had, say, a three and a five here, the arrow would have to sum to 35. That's all it is. Otherwise, it's normal, normal stuff. So that's all I've really got to say. There's not, no rules to explain. So uh, link in the description if you want to give it a try. And I am going to try it now. And we'll see how it goes. So let's reset the timer. And so... One thing that's kind of interesting here is the 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 arrow or the sail of the boat is sort of, I guess, piercing the 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 body of the bolt the boat. the The tip of the arrow is part of the bulb, and so I think what that's telling us it's actually it's funny. This this cell, I don't think it really does much of anything for the arrows except forcing this digit, and it's going to force this digit to be a one or a two. And here's why. So if we think about what could be in here, right? Let's say that, uh, I don't know, one and, let's make it a four. Why not? Four and seven, how about? Four and seven, random numbers. This is the ones digit, right? So it's 40 and seven. You can kind of think of them as two pieces being summed together. Well, so 40 and seven is 47, obviously. But these four cells also have to sum to 47. And, and so if you take this digit away, we now have 40 left on the bulb and we have 40 left on the arrow. So, and whatever digits you put in here, it's going to work out the same. This is going to sort of cancel out. It sort of is the sum for the bulb and for the arrow. And so the other three are just going to be this times 10. So if this is a three, these are going to have to be, oops, these three are going to have to be 30. If this is a nine, these three are going to have to be 90. And so the reason I say it has to be one or a two is if you think about what are you, what's the maximum you could put in three cells, seven, eight, and nine sums to 24. So we can't do anything bigger than 24. Therefore, 10 and 20 are our only options. These are all one or two. And I think these, ah, these are actually, so these are the same way. Again, this part sort of cancels out. But the most you can do in two cells is 17 with an 8 and a 9. So in fact, we know these two are 10s. And that will probably not give us what I thought it was going to give us. So I thought it was going to, um, one of these was going to be looking at one of these and give us the, you know, disambiguate the ones and the twos. But... Ah, very clever. Actually, okay, it's down here. This is what we do. Okay, the one and the two here. Now let's think about what happens here. So any, would any of these boats, if there's a one, what happens then? So we know these three have to equal 10. How do you make 10 without a one? The only way possible is two, three, five. You can try a bunch of other things, but without repeating a digit, the only way is two, three, and five. But if we have two, three, and five here, now this can't be a one and it can't be a two. So in fact, what that means is this one can't be a one. It has to be the two. Making this a one, this one's a one, and a two, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a two. Um, so what do we do? So this is 20, which doesn't now, oh, right. Okay, so we just said, 
What we just said is 10 without a 1 has to be 2, 3, and 5. So this is going to be 2, 3, and 5. There's a 2 there. So that's 2. We get 3, 5. Uh, this, ooh, this one actually can have a repeated digit. So that doesn't have to be 2, 3, 5. All right, this one has to be 2, 3, 5, and there's a 2 there. So we get 2. This is 3 and 5. Same deal here. This one's the 2 because of the 2 down there. Oh, oh, that 2 also gave us the 1. There we go. <laughs> 3, 5. I was already making it a 1 in my head, and I should probably write it in, shouldn't I? Um, all right, and we've got 1, 3, 5, and 1, 3, 5. So these have to be 1, 3, and 5. This is not a 1. Got a bunch of 3, 5s in the grid. Okay, we still don't know this one. So I wonder if we can get the rest of the ones and twos. So there's twos here, twos up there. Two, two, twos here. Two, hmm, can't quite get the rest of them, can we? Or at least I'm not seeing how. Maybe the ones, can we do the ones? One, one. There's a one here. Oh no, this, okay, right. So if this is a one, we have to put two, three, five on the arrow, but we can't put a two anywhere on the arrow. So this cannot be a one, this is a two. And now I think that gives us, yeah, we've got twos here, so there's a two there, can't be in any of those. This is a two, that puts a two up there. And one more, I think we've got all the twos. Yep, just by normal Sudoku there. Now the ones, can we do the ones? Now that we've got some more information. With the t yes, so there's a one up here and it can't be right there. One one that puts a one up there. So we've got almost all the ones. Oh, but this has to equal 20. And if you have a one there, these two are gonna have to equal 19, which is impossible. So that is a one, which gives us the one there. We've done all the ones and the twos. Hmm. So, and at this point, I mean, these cells are basically irrelevant to the arrows. They're, they're just, they could, they might as well just be empty cells for normal Sudoku at this point. Because any digit will work here as far as the arrow is concerned. Um, so, I guess these have to sum to 10. They can't be 1, 9, or 2, 8. So, Three, seven, or four, six. Okay, I think these other arrows. Two has a lot of options though, but this one. Actually, this one is. Oh no, not this one. This one though can't have a three or a five. And so I think. Let's see, so it has to be four, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you don't have a four. The minimum would be six, seven, and eight, which is 21, and that's too big. So it has to have a four. The other two are gonna have to equal 16, so it's gotta be four, seven, nine. These are six and eight. Now this one isn't quite the same. These two can't be three and five, but that one can. And so I think you have a lot more options. You could do five, seven, eight, five, six, nine. You could do three, eight, nine even. This one, yeah, this one's got quite a few options too. And down here, well, let me think. So we know we can't, oh, we can't do two, three, five now. Because the twos. We were saying before we didn't have to do two, three, five, but now we can't do two, three, five. And knowing that the only way you can do 10 and three without a one is two, three, and five, that tells us we have to have a repeated digit, and the only place you can repeat a digit is between those two, because these two are in the same column, these two are in the same row. So these two have to have a repeated digit, and I think it's gonna have to be a three. If you did four, that would be eight, this would have to be a two, which is impossible. So it's gotta be three, three, four. So this is not three, seven. This is not three, so that's not a seven. Um, So three, one, three, okay. So now where do we look? Where do we look? Oh, the three, duh. Gives us the five and the three there. And so maybe, 
Maybe we need to look at these smaller arrows. Now normally, normally these shorter arrows aren't, oh actually, we can't put a three in here anymore, but we could still have a five, couldn't we? Can we? Five can't be in any of those. Yeah, we can still have a five. Okay, so normally these shorter arrows um, aren't very helpful, but because we've eliminated one and two, I'm thinking it might be more helpful. And actually we've got a three, five pair across the top here. So this one, it could be four, otherwise it has to be six or greater. And it can't be seven, because seven, this is a minimum of three. Seven and three is 10. So this is at least three or five. And it can't be four, because four plus four is repeated and four plus six is 10. So it's gotta be, so that's seven or nine. Hmm, interesting, that's a four six pair there now. So this could be three or five. It can't be four, it can't be six. And again, seven is gonna give you too big of a number. This, six, that one could be six. So this is eight or nine. It's either three five or three six. Giving us eight or nine. Oh, look at this row. Where can we put a five? Okay, we obviously can't put a five in any of those. We have a three five pair up here, so that's not a five. That five is ruling out that, and the three five pair is ruling out that one. This is a five. And now, we cannot put a five on this arrow. We can't put a three on this arrow. It also has to be four, seven, and nine, just like that one up there. And this is not four. Four in here, four, four. So there's a four down here. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Um, but these are five, six, and eight, and these can't be five. So this is the five, and that forces three, six, nine. These are not nine, that's the nine. Uh, this can't be six now because of the, um, the six, eight pair down here. These are six, seven, and eight, and they have the six, eight pair there, so that gives us the seven. This is not seven then. Nine, nine, there's a nine down here. I don't know which one yet though. Oh, but there's a four and a nine. These are a four, nine pair. Okay, so this is six, eight. So this is also four, nine. Just looking at the column there. No, sorry, that's not true, because this one. This, this cell, just because of the arrow and the circle and whatnot, made me think it was already filled. These are four, seven, and nine, and this one is not four because of the four, six there. But we have a four, seven, nine triple here. Oh, we also have a four, seven, nine triple here, so these are also six, eight, that's interesting. Now, the six, eight here, does that tell us anything? Not really. Oh, the nine down here. This is seven. Three, four, six, four. Um, six. So these are seven, eight, and nine, and this one's not nine. So there's definitely a nine in one of those two, so this is not nine. This is four, six, or three, seven. The other one is over there. Okay. Three, four, five. Oh, the four here. That's not a four. So these are six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, we got a lot of six, seven. Oh, but this six, eight pair here means this is not six, eight. So that's seven, nine. Hmm. What, am I, what do I need to look at? There's a five in here. Ah, these, these, ah, oh, look. Look, where can you put a five in box two? There's a five in one of these three. 
which means that's a three and a five and a three and a five. Three, three, six, six, six. There's a six in one of those. Seven, six, eight, six, eight. Oh, the six here. That's just bad scanning. Okay. So what do we have left in here? These are five and eight, I believe, which leaves seven down here. That looks right. So these are five, six, eight, and nine. This one can't be six. So actually all of these are five, six, eight, and nine, just to finish the box, which gives us a, a, a five, six, eight, nine quad there. So these have to be four and seven, right? Yes. So, oh, look, I had a seven, nine pair up here too. So that's not seven, nine, but now the four, seven is gonna give us the nine there. And the seven there, that's a four nine pair now. That seven, that's not a seven. Uh, should have had that because I had to be a seven over here anyways. The six eight pair is gonna give us seven and the three, four, seven, four, seven. That's not seven, it's an eight, nine, seven, four, nine, four. These are our old friends, the six and the eight. This is four and nine now. Um, five, eight, five, eight, nine, okay. Oh, the three on the left gives us the five and the three there, that three. So these are six, eight, and nine. That one can't be eight or nine. So it's a six, which gives us eight, six. This is nine. Uh, this is just a four, it's the only thing left in the column. The only thing left in the box here is a nine, so that's not nine. These are two, five, and eight, I believe, and that one, oh no, not two. No, 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 <laughs> we've had the twos in the grid for a long time. These are five, seven, and eight. Um, seven there, so we have a seven in the middle. This cannot be a six. Uh, that one can't be a six or a nine. So we've got a five eight pair six eight six. Oh, oh didn't didn't arrow over far enough These are five eight nine that one has to be the nine and six and nine is 15 We need it to be 20. So that's five eight five eight five eight Looks good timer stopped. All right, there we go That was a nice quick one very approachable um yeah, that was a lot of fun. I really liked the the theme of it and the picture looked cool, but it was also some really neat logic with the the arrows pointing into the bulbs. And I feel like this was a great um, sort of uh, teaching puzzle to teach you that idea of sort of the leftovers on the, the two bulb arrow. Very neat. I like that, that was cool. Fun puzzle, thank you, Friar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you thought. You can tell me down below in the comments. You can jump over uh, to the Discord server and tell me about it there. Um, there's a link in the description to uh, our Discord server as well. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna say like and subscribe because I'm supposed to, and I'll see you again soon with another puzzle. Thanks.